Hey guys, what's up? This is Tola. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go ahead and do a lace frontal on my chocolate sister, honey. Yes, you can wear blonde hair and be chocolate, baby girl. So I'm going to show you guys another blonde color you can do. Um, it's not highlights and lowlights. It's just a pure blonde color going into a light, light ends going into dark roots. Well, that's what I was trying to do, but as usual, things will never come out the way I want it, but it still has a nice blonde ashy tone. I'm gonna show you also how to tone out your um, bundle. So if you see any orangey um, tones, you can tone that out with a toner. And I'm gonna show you how to tint your lace frontal and bleach your knot all in one video. It's super long, but I'm gonna put the information in the description box below as to what time you want you can run up to if you don't wanna watch the whole thing. Cause I know if you're like me, you're impatient, and you're gonna sit there and watch everything. No ma'am. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, see you guys on my next video. Peace. Alright, so I got a lot of stuff going on in this video. It has a lot of steps in it. Now I'm going to put information in the description box as to where you can skip forward to the different processes. I've got bundle coloring, frontal coloring, toning, how to bleach your lace closure, I mean your lace frontal, and tinting the lace. So, um, like if you don't want to look at everything you want to fast forward, don't worry. I'll put everything in the description box so you can go to what part you want to see. But the toning is going to take away all those orangey brassy tones and make it this nice, cool, blonde color. So if you like what you see, keep on watching and I'm going to get into details as to how this all is accomplished. A company called Yaro Hair has sent me this hair to review. It is their Deep Wave and um, they sent me lashes and a net which i'm going to show you in a minute four boxes of lashes and that was a lot so that was pretty cool um i'm not going to use a net on this video but i did use it afterwards now this frontal is absolutely great i mean it's an 18 inch frontal and it's a 13 by 4 in um width now the density is so good like you can see through it so you know that it's not going to be too much plucking necessary when I comb through the frontal, I have no shedding whatsoever. That's another bonus to this bender. Um, the bundles are also an 18 inch, and we have three of them. So it's a 18 inch frontal, 13 by 4, and three bundles of 18 inches. And the deep wave curl pattern is so, so pretty. I just love their curl pattern. It looks so, so nice. Now, here is a test. Oh, and they don't shed either. But we're going to go ahead and color this blonde, right? So we gotta pray that the curl pattern stays in there. So I'm using a 40 volume and I'm gonna hit these ends with my 40 volume. And the consistency is very liquidy because I want it to saturate the bundles real nice and good. So we don't want no thick bleach, we want that liquidy consistency. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what bleach it is um, coming up soon so don't start talking about where, what kind of bleach is it? Wait a second, it's coming. I'm gonna show you what kind of bleach I use. Um, it is called Matrix, by the way. Now you can use your BW2, which is what I'm not using, but it does lift an orangey kind of tone. So make sure you use a 40 volume if you are using a BW2, or you can find something in Sally's that has um, a blue powder, and then use that with 40 volume. But this one gives me eight levels of lift. I'm not sure what they have in the beauty supply store, but no matter what happens, I'm gonna show y'all how to tone out those brassy tones if you do end up getting them. So go ahead and distribute that color evenly or lighten it evenly on the ends and comb it through. And I'm going to work my way from the bottom to the top because I want that light to dark gradient. So that's why I'm starting from the ends and working my way up to the top. All right, so here is the color. It's Light Master by Matrix, and it gives you eight levels of lift. Um, you can get something similar this in the beauty supply store, but if I find a link online, I'll put it in the um, description box below. Excuse my ghetto plastic container, but I don't, I can't find my coloring bowls anywhere. So yeah, don't judge me. So now I'm going into my middle portion of my bundles with the 40 volume. Now I have mixed a couple of times. You may have not seen it on camera, but I do two scoops 
before every um, process. That way it doesn't dry out too much because when you put a whole bunch of powder in there with a whole bunch of um, developer, it's just going to get dry. So try to do small portions at a time. And so you turn it around and you go ahead and add it to the back. Don't forget to turn your bundles over, ladies. It's very, very important. If you don't have patience and you don't like coloring hair, it's annoying, pay somebody. Give them your coins, honey, because you don't want to be stressed out and you don't want an ugly color. Or do all that coloring for you not to even want to wear it out in public. So if you don't have patience, do not do this color because it's... Look at that, I gotta dig in there, put all that color in there. Unless you wanna just mix a whole bunch of bleach and just pour it on all your, all your bundles. I mean, you could do that too, like that's fine. But just make sure it's evenly distributed. However you get to your blonde color, get there and I'm gonna show you how to tone it out. Now when combing through your bundles, make sure it's a wide tooth comb and not nothing small because you're not trying to mess up this curl pattern. And the more you comb, the more you may compromise that curl pattern. And also it can break easily. So yes, try not to comb, but if you have to, make sure it's a wide tooth comb. So at this point, I've got my end and my middle complete. I'm just making sure everything is fully saturated. And I'm gonna move on to my top portion. Like I said before, this process is very repetitive, and so if you feel like, okay, I know this portion is taking too long, fast forward. I have everything in the description box below as to what time points are important that you can go ahead and fast forward to. But I'm just saturating each portion. You know how it goes. And so everything is fully, fully, fully coated. I don't do a lot of coloring videos because of this process. Like it takes forever to do a color, all these different steps. And I don't get too much love for doing color videos apart from my red color that I did. But um, if you guys wanna see more coloring videos, let me know, thumbs up, comment below as to what colors you might wanna see. Um, and if I get enough likes, um, I'll go ahead and do some more coloring videos. So we're done with our ends, we're done with our middle. Now I'm gonna do the top portion of our bundles. I'm gonna hit it with two scoops of bleach and Teflon developer, mix that up to a nice yogurt consistency and throw that on the top portion. Now I do wanna keep the black root, so I'm gonna keep that in mind while applying this color, I mean bleach. Now this is the thickest portion of our bundle, so you're gonna have to really dig deep and get in there to get every single cuticle because that's how the blotchy spots occur. So yeah, you're gonna need a lot of product for this portion. But just saturate that 10 volume throughout each bundle till you're done. And make sure you turn it over and do the same thing on the opposite side. I alternate between combing through the bundle and finger combing through the bundle just to make sure everything is distributed evenly. As you see, I don't like to comb too much so I go through with my fingers instead. So once it's done, it should look something like this um, and we're good to go. Now, what you can do is if you want it to be a bit lighter, you can put foils on the ends of this and make those tips a lot blonder. Um, I didn't do that for this video, particularly because I wanted to try to keep this curl pattern and I didn't want to fry the hair or damage the curl pattern. So I took that off. But if you want that cut, if you want that um, extra lightener to um, give it that pizzazz, you can go ahead and add foils to the ends. So we're gonna move on to the frontal now. Now I added two bands to the frontal. I mean, I added elastic bands to the frontal. I don't normally do this, but I wanted to make it beginner friendly. So I added rubber bands to portion out the frontal. Now, this was entirely too big. If you do do this method, make sure you split this into two. So you have two, four, six, eight. You'll have eight sections instead of, instead of um, the uh, amount of sections I have right now. So that would have been two sections right there. That would have been two sections right here also. Um, and this will help with the lightening process. So as you see later on in the video, I'm going to take those bands down. But I'm putting two scoops of lightener. I'm going to add a 40 volume, put that in and then mix that up. So it's very similar to the bundle process we do into the frontal. I mean, it's pretty repetitive, I know. But I, it is what it is. For you to get the nice fluid color, you got to make sure you do the same process to one thing to the other. So you're going to go ahead and hit the ends with the 40 volume first and then move to the middle and then move to the top part. So I'm going to go ahead and saturate this portion now. I'm going to fast forward a bit because 
you can't sit here and watch me do every single thing. Like you're gonna get really tired and fall asleep on me and I can't have that. So I try to spit it up as much as possible but not omit too much information. So you was gonna get the actual effect that I get because if I skip too much, then you're not gonna get enough content. If I skip too little, then it's gonna be boring. So I made sure I put everything you needed to know in this video. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the middle portion of our frontal and I'm going to saturate that portion as well. I know y'all know that I'm using 40 volume for this portion as well. Ends 40, middle 40, top portion 10. Don't forget it. That's why I took the rubber bands out and just separated it with my fingers. Um, obviously this had to be split into two, so I had to part it out and split it into two before hitting it with my 10 volume for the root area or the top area because it's not the roots because black is the root and then it hits the 10 volume. So that's what I'm doing here is my 10 volume combing it through. Now, off camera, I do split it into two and then go back in and um, put some more lightener there. It has to be thin sections, otherwise it's not gonna be a nice balayage. And you do have to do the top portion and the um, under portion of the um, section that you're holding. So make sure you do the top and the bottom portion with 10 volume. So here I show you splitting it into two because those sections were way too big, like I said before. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the 10 volume on the top section, and I'm gonna show you how I go underneath it as well. Now, as you see, I'm taking vertical sections. You don't want harsh lines when you're hitting this top area. It has to be nice, fluid, and um, evenly distributed. And here goes the top portion, I mean the underneath portion. As you see, I have to hit both sides. And I think there's no harsh lines. You don't want to get any harsh lines. So just stroke it vertically. So once you're done with that, your ends are going to be kind of dry and they're going to need a little bit more love. So I'm going to go back in and saturate my ends with some more lightener just so that the way they can all just process together. Then you basically just let that sit until you have a nice yellowy color and then you rinse it out. There's no time I can give you. You just have to watch it and see. Um, if you get that tone and it's what it looks like when she rinse it out as you see it's not too grassy It's not too orangey. I washed it with shimmer light shampoo the more shimmer lights you add the less brass you'll get and Then now it's time to go ahead and tone 20 volume is the developer you need you are gonna need t14 and 050 Wella to do these toners you can get all this from Sally's pour the whole t14 bottle in there and pour the 20 volume and fill it to the top, pour that in, and then you do that again. So it's one to two ratio. One part Wellatona, two part developer. And so that's why I use two full bottles as my measuring cup. And now once that's poured in, I'm gonna add my cooling violet. This takes away any yellowy, orangey tones that you don't wanna see in the hair. It gives it more of that ashy appeal. It's an additive because it just concentrates that T14. So I put four drops of that, mix it together, and then just saturate my bundles in it and let it sit for like 30 minutes, like as long as possible really, because I wanted to take all of those warm tones out and make it as cool as possible. And as you see, you don't see any orangey tones in there. This looks, looks like a nice, ashy, blondish color. Totally love it. Um, thumbs up if you like it as well. 
Um, now I'm going to move on to doing the frontal. Now I don't know why I recorded this frontal port process because I already have a video on how to tint your lace closure. So if you want to see a more detailed tutorial, just look at the description box below and I'll add the link. Let's fast forward to what it looks like. So once complete, your um, knot should look a little something like this and it looks amazing. Now, out of nowhere, I decided to change my model. So before my mom was going to do this and so the lace was a perfect color for my mom's complexion. But I'm going to get my sister Bola to do the video. So we're going to have to tint this lace to a nice chocolate brown because she is a chocolate sister. So here is the lace looking kind of white and that's not going to work for us. So I'm going in with the cocoa brown chocolate. It would be more wise for you guys to tint your lace before bleaching but I did the opposite because I didn't realize I was going to switch models. So this is what happens when you tint it. It gives you this brownish tone instead of this palish tone. Um, if you're light skin, please keep it the way it is. But if not, you have that chocolate complexion, go ahead and tint it. What I do is I pour hot water in the container, whatever bowl you want to use, and then add the cocoa brown wick dye. The red dye can be purchased from any fabric store, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, anywhere they sell fabric. You just mix it in like so and then go ahead and dip your frontal into the bowl and let it sit for at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes or at least 15 just for some time so that way that lace can now go ahead and tint. It's feet kills. Once done, you have this nice brownish tinted frontal, and as you see, it didn't mess up the bleach knots. If anything, it gave it a nice, um, it just toned down the knots a little bit and gave it that nice scalp effect. So it's okay to tint your lace after you bleach it, it's not going to kill you. And so now I, I've already tweezed it off of camera. I have a video on how to tweeze your frontal. I'll add that also. But as you see, because of the density of the frontal, I didn't have to pluck into the frontal. I just plucked the hairline and that's it. Like it was really, really easy to pluck. Just did the hairline because the density is so great, I don't have to do that extra pluck in. So that's what our bundles look like once colored. And now I'm gonna go in and show you guys how to condition your bundles. So I haven't told y'all about this, but I should have been told y'all because I've been using it for years. Silicone mix conditioner. If you haven't heard about it, this is where you need to start using it as a regimen. Like it revives any crap, garbage hair. Like it is the truth. Even for your natural hair, you can use it. I just saturate it with that, put it in a plastic bag and let it sit in the microwave for one minute and then rinse it out. And then up next, we're gonna install and style our frontal. So y'all stay tuned and thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.